There really has been a resurgence in Haida culture with carving, with the dancing, and a lot with the weaving too. We opened up one of the old canneries down there and turned it into a carving shed. So at least it's not you know a big open space. We might as well use it. So that served as a, a little gathering spot for everybody. You know, everybody come down and watch the carvers or chop if they want. And it seemed to really light a spark and really get people motivated and just just to learning from each other, not one particular person or two, but but kind of learning from each other. And uh, when you got that when you got that general uh, sense of community, um, people start to. Um, you know, share a lot more of who they are, uh, who their family is. For the most part, there seems to be quite a uh, interest in, in 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 the resurgence of the Haida culture, which is good. My brother Ben Young has been he he got an opportunity to work with my grandfather Claude Morrison the last five or six years of his life, and he was able to get a lot of the Haida language out of that, which um, which is difficult at times. And uh, but it was well worth it. He's he, I know he teaches online on classes. He'll do classes in Heidelberg, and um, so we're trying to really trying to get it from all from all uh, from all corners between uh, the language and the the art and the weaving and the culture in general. So we're excited. We're getting some momentum. Do you think the the carving facility kind of inspired that, or was there something else in the community? I, I can't I can't pinpoint it on one thing or the other. I I do know that uh, once the carving got once it got started uh, a few years back, it it, uh, it 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 really did jumpstart thing. It, it got people together. It got people uh, excited about totem pole raisings. It got so that in turn got people excited to dance and sing and come up with new songs and the language. And uh, it could have been that, I, 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 but like I said, it could, it could have been something else, but um, I'm just glad it did happen. I'm, I'm excited for the future, so. What role do you see yourself in that uh, resurgence or uh, people's energies wanting to, to fill a connection to that part of their culture? As a Heide Carver from Heidelberg, I, I definitely feel not a responsibility, but it, but, um, more of a, maybe a calling to, 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 to share everything I know because I'm learning from one of the best right now down Robert Davidson who who um, you know we looked up to as, as a, and we and we still look up to him now uh, so when I'm done learning from him I, there, there's no doubt I have uh, I'm gonna share everything I know with uh, with the people I love and the people where I come from um, it's it's only right, and I'm excited to do it. And hopefully, hopefully, a lot comes out of you know me working with Robert. I, I know it will, regardless. And, and I'll and I'll I'll do my best. I'll 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 do my part, and um, you know, get into a point where everyone's excited for you know who we were and who we're who we're gonna be.